So you might be in a situation where your PlayStation 4 USB ports aren't working out that well. Now, what does that mean? Well, essentially your PlayStation 4, you have to remember, it is a little bit of an older console. So if you're having these types of issues, a reason why you might be having these issues is typically due to your specific console, possibly those USB ports not fitting in all the way and not properly being cleaned out. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is going through and possibly just getting and just looking into that USB port and seeing if there's any like a bunch of dust buildup, cracks, anything like that at all. Just go ahead. If you notice those things, get like a small cotton swab or like a small toothpick that's not super sensitive and go and try prying some of that stuff out. Be very gentle. And that's kind of the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, another thing, make sure your console is turned on and make sure it's fully equipped with handling whatever specific device you're trying to charge or connect it to. Meaning if you're using a faulty micro USB cord or USB-C cord and you're trying to plug in a different device, it may not be compatible with the PlayStation 4. If you're trying to connect like an unauthorized, you know, or uncertified type of you know controller that may not work properly with your console as well as a specific you know hard drive or ssd if those things are not equipped for the playstation 4 it may not work out that well and it may seem like it's not working out for your console and you, you know you're having a faulty usb port when in reality it's probably just that specific device that's the issue if none of those things are working and you can verify that everything else is fine then what i would recommend doing is first of all power cycle your playstation 4 unplug everything on your ps4 wait a few minutes plug everything back in turn on your console and try fixing it there or try seeing if there's an update available for your playstation 4 so go inside of your PS4 settings, see if there's an update available, and that can also kind of help fix some of these situations as well. Again, it's not a guarantee, but typically those things can help, you know, kind of fix the issue. You can also try going through and seeing if there's any other, you know, specific device around you that you can test to see if it's a problem with your PS4 USB port or it's a problem with that cord or the device that you're connecting to. So those are a few different things to test out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.